Genesis chapter 46 in the King James Version. <clears throat> and Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices unto the God of his father Isaac. And God spake unto Israel in the visions of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, Here am I. And he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make of thee a great nation. I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will also surely bring thee up again. And Joseph shall put his hand upon thine eyes. And Jacob, arose, or Jacob rose up from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father, and their little ones, and their wives, in the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. And they took their cattle and their goods, which they had gotten in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt, Jacob and all his seed with him, his sons and his sons' sons with him, his daughters and his sons' daughters, and all his seed brought he with him into Egypt. And these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt, Jacob and his sons, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and the sons of Reuben, Hanok and uh, Palu, and Hezron and Carmi, and the sons of Simeon, Jamul and Jemin, and Ohad and Jachin, and Zohar and Shol, the son of a Canaanitish woman, and the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, and the sons of Judah, Ur and Onan, and Shelah and Pharaoh and Zerah. But Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan, and the sons of Perez were Hezron and Hamul, and the sons of Issachar, Tola and Puva, and Job, and Shimron, and the sons of Zebulon, Zered, and Elon, and Jehalil. These be the sons of Leah, which she bare into Jacob in Paddan Aram, with his daughter Dinah, all the souls of his sons, and his daughters were thirty and three. And the sons of Gad, Ziphion, and Hagi, Shuni, and Esbon, Eri, and Arodi, and Arali, and the sons of Ashar, Jimna, Ishua, and Isua, and Berai, and Surah, their sister, and the sons of Berai, Heber, and Malkiel. These are the sons of Zilpah, whom Laban gave to Leah, his daughter, and these she bare unto Jacob, even sixteen souls. The sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife, Joseph and Benjamin, and unto Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, which Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of On, bare unto him. And the sons of Benjamin were Bela and Bekar, and Ashbel, Gera, and Naaman, E. Are E and Rosh, Mepim and Hupim and Ard. These are the sons of Rachel, which were born to Jacob. All the souls were fourteen. And the sons of Dan, Hashem, and the sons of Naphtali, Jaziel and Guni, and Jezar and Shilam. These are the sons of Bela, which Laban gave unto Rachel his daughter, and she bare these unto Jacob. All the souls were seven. And all the, all the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which came out of his loins, besides Jacob's sons' wives, all the souls were three score and six. And the sons of Joseph, which were born him in Egypt, were two souls. All the souls of the house of Jacob, which came into Egypt, were three score and ten. <clears throat> And he sent Judah before him unto Joseph to direct his face unto Goshen, and they came into the land of Goshen. And Joseph made ready his chariot, and went up to meet Israel his father to Goshen, and presented himself unto him. And he fell on his neck, and wept on his neck a good while. And Israel said unto Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen thy face, because thou art yet alive. And Joseph said unto his brethren, brethren, and unto his father's house, I will go up and shew Pharaoh, and say unto him, My brethren and my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, are come unto me. 
and the men are shepherds, for their trade hath been to feed cattle, and they have brought their flocks and their herds and all that they have. And it shall come to pass when Pharaoh shall call you and shall say, What is your occupation? that ye shall say, Thy servant's trade hath been about cattle from our youth even until now, both we and also our fathers, that ye may dwell in the land of Goshen, for every sheep shepherd is an abomination unto the Egyptians. Okay, so there was a lot here. Um, a lot. Sermon upon sermon, but take a look at this. 46 two, <clears throat> And God spake unto Israel in the vision of the night and said, Jacob, Jacob, and he said, Here am I. And he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make of thee a great nation. So there's a lot just within here. Here's Jacob, who is now named Israel, who is the father also of Joseph and all of his sons um, that are going with him. And remember, going back to the previous Bible studies, how we learned how Joseph uh, was originally uh loved by uh, Jacob, who is Israel, his father, because he came from Rachel, and that made his, his brother uh, jealous of him, and that's how he ended up in Egypt to begin with, was because his brother sold him to the caravan that he came, passed by. And so, <clears throat> their original plot was to, thought was to kill him, but they did not because the oldest Reuben intervened and ended up, uh, the brothers ended up selling um, Joseph to Egypt. And so here is now Jacob coming, or Israel coming down to Egypt. And, you know, it's a humanistic thought. It's a humanistic feeling. Okay, here I'm going down to a land, a nation that, at this time, <clears throat> even as Jacob knows, does is uh, full of people who believe in multiple gods, think that Pharaoh is a god. I'm being directed, though, to go to this place that is uh, full of people who not necessarily worship God. Some may know of God. Some may know that other people worship God, the God of heaven. Um, I believe that that was similar to what was called the Lord at that time. And so um, here he is, you know, as human thoughts, thoughts and feelings. I'm going down. I know, I believe that Joseph sent these things to me to bring me down to Egypt. But am I supposed to go down there and stay? Am I supposed to go there and live? And so the Lord visited him to reassure. So he had already accepted the fact that his son was in Egypt and he accepted that and that's why he was going along with the caravan with his sons and bringing everything he had with them to uh, be done with the famine the mass famine that was already in the land so he already knew he had to leave he just still had those thoughts and feelings those and thinking about it bringing past to present sometimes we can second guess ourselves have you ever thought of that and so here is Jacob. I don't believe that he was second guessing. I just think that he was still in a little bit of fear and a little bit of, okay, I'm going to this place and there's still uncertainty. And so the Lord knew that. And what did the Lord say? He said to J uh, Jacob, okay, he said, <clears throat> In verse 3, and he said, I am God, the God of thy father. Fear not to go down into Egypt, for I will there make of thee a great nation. Fear not. Here it is again. And as if you've been with us through the NIV version, and, and now we're going through the King James version, as you can see, it's the same. The Lord wants us not to fear, even though sometimes we have uncertainty. Sometimes we're guided to things. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how people are going to react. We don't know how it's going to turn out. But fear not, because the Lord does not want us to live in fear, including uncertainty. He understands that we as sheep, we do these things. We fear, we they tend to get into uncertainty. In fact, there are times where in life you may see it as an addiction as well. Like 
to be fearful or be uncertain at all times and not even realize that we've settled with those feelings that it's it's somehow okay to be fearful or it's somehow okay to be uncertain. Whereas our Lord and Savior, he wants us to be in peace at all times, not just when we are know that things are certain, but when even those things that are uncertain, right? He wants us to be at peace and at comfort with him and to fully rely and understand, yeah, this is going to be okay because the Lord, the Lord God Almighty, Emmanuel, is with me. Amen and hallelujah. So think about that. Think about those things as we continue to read. And before we go on, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come, come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel? And what does it make you think? <laughs> 